Now it's time for your 420 Radio News for Wednesday, August 14th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. Judge rejects New York's stop and frisk policy from the New York Times. A federal judge ruled on Monday that the stop and frisk tactics of the New York Police Department violated the constitutional rights of minorities in the city, repudiating a major element in the Bloomberg administration's crime-fighting legacy. Judge Shira A. Scheindlin found that the police department resorted to, quote, a policy of indirect racial profiling, end quote, as it increased the number of stops in minority communities that has led to officers routinely stopping black and Hispanics who, quote, would not have been stopped if they were white, end quote. The judge called for a federal monitor to oversee broad reforms, including the use of body-worn cameras for some patrol officers, though she was not ordering an end to the practice of stop and frisk. Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg angrily said, quote, you're not going to see any changes in tactics overnight, end quote. John Kitzhaber, governor of Oregon, signs medical marijuana law. This from OregonLive.com. Oregon Governor John Kitzhaber this morning signed a bill legalizing medical marijuana retail establishments. The law, which moves Oregon's booming medical marijuana industry into the mainstream, creates a registry of businesses that sell the medical marijuana. Patients have long sought retail access to cannabis, arguing that state rules, grow your own or have someone do it for you, are unrealistic. The law comes a year after an investigation by the Oregonian that showed scant state regulation of medical marijuana allowed widespread diversion to the black market. Oregon joins a dozen other states that allow medical marijuana dispensaries or retail outlets. New York City Comptroller Liu wants marijuana legalized from the Washington Post. New York City Comptroller John Liu is proposing a historic overhaul of the city's marijuana laws, believing that legalizing medical marijuana and allowing adults to possess an ounce of pot for recreational use would pump more than $400 million into the city coffers. The sweeping change, which would put New York at the forefront of a growing national debate over the use of the drug, calls for recreational marijuana to be regulated and taxed like alcohol and tobacco. Liu, the city's top financial officer, who is also running for mayor, commissioned a report that found that New York City has $1.65 billion in a marijuana market. If a 20% excise tax and the standard 8.875% city sales tax is imposed on pot sales, it would yield $400 million annually in revenue, Liu believes. Another $31 million could be saved a year in law enforcement and court costs. Quote, it is economically and socially just to tax it, Lou told the Associated Press in an interview Tuesday. High Times challenges Ole Miss to marijuana potency competition from the clarionledger.com. High Times reported this week that the University of Mississippi claims to have tested a strain of cannabis that registered 37% THC, or tetrahydrocannabinol, the intoxicating chemical in marijuana. That's a higher THC level than any they've tested. High Times said their lab tops out at 25.49% THC. High Times writer Danny Danko said, quote, No strain we've tested has ever come close to 30% THC, so we'd like to challenge the University of Mississippi to reveal the method and results of their testing, or at least tell us the name of the strain with the 37% THC so that we can um, further study it, end quote. The magazine also invited the university to enter the Seattle Cannabis Cup September 7th through 8th to compete with other high-potency strains. Panel discusses reforming marijuana laws in Missouri from the Rolla Daily News. John Payne, who heads the Association of Groups and People Who Believe That Cannabis or Marijuana Should Be Legalized, along with St. Louis Police Sergeant and Tea Party spokesman Gary Wiegert and State Representative Paul Kurtman, Republican of Pacific, held a public forum about their views on marijuana reform August 8th at the center in Rolla. In addition to Kurtman, State Representatives Keith Frederick, Republican of Rolla, and Jeff Pogue, Republican of Salem, attended to observe. Frederick promised to include questions about marijuana reform in one of his upcoming constituent surveys. Pogue said as of the end of the 2013 legislative session, he would not support changing Missouri's cannabis laws, but said he approaches the issue with an open mind and agreed to do more research on the subject.
This has been your 420 Radio News for Wednesday, August 14th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines to take a look at the bill just passed in Oregon, just uh, signed in Oregon, that legalizes medical marijuana dispensaries in the state. How do its fees compare with other medical marijuana states? Also, a preview of 420 Radio at the Seattle Hemp Fest. You're listening to The Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back after this.